The problem we're having today is that daylight isn't always read at 5600 Kelvin. It's highly influenced by the time of day, the weather, and the surrounding color palette. In this first example, we're taking a look at an image where I'm standing in full shade, surrounded by neutral bricks and pavement. This environment is pushing our meter reading to 8500 Kelvin. In the second example, we're going to take a look at an image where I'm standing in full sun. Our meter reading is 4900 Kelvin. These images were taken minutes and feet apart. It's amazing how small movements in the location can drastically affect the outcome of an image. Water, leaves, green grass, and pavement are a number of other examples that can also affect the image's color. So keep that in mind while shooting. In order for us to match them up, we have two options. If you're shooting photos, simply select the neutral gray patch on the X-Rite Color Checker Classic or Color Checker Passport in Adobe Lightroom or your camera raw editor. If you're shooting videos, you can create a custom in-camera white balance by using the X-Rite Color Checker white balance target. In post-production, you can use your Editing Suite's color correction module to select the neutral gray patch from the target. To get more information, go to xrightphoto.com. To dial in your color more precisely, use the same passport to create custom camera profiles, but we'll discuss this more in depth in another video. And for video professionals, you can get more precise color alignment by pairing the X-Rite Color Checker video's color patches and your vector scopes. Finally, to demystify one thing, never white balance off a white shirt. You always want to use a spectrally neutral target that allows you to measure the white reflections the same no matter what lighting condition you're in. 